You go. No, you go. We we in here? We're out there. We're out there. We're over there. We're in you. We're on your sofa. <laughs> We're here. These are the uh, these are like our things that we can't live without. Apparently, apparently, apparently I can I mean, live without. I feel like for the most part we could live without them, but you know, we're city slickers. You know, we've got things. We've got the, the surplus stuff. I don't know where to start. I mean, I'm gonna go for the. We're gonna start with the things with that like the obvious I things. always have. The uh -huh. obvious stuff that you probably already know we're gonna get out. Yeah. Got the rock boots. <laughs> Fucking Tom's got so many in there. Rock boots. Rock boots. Rock boots. Rock boots. <laughs> No, I've got no, there's nothing that's left Tom's, in my bag. That's eight of Tom's things <laughs> already that's done. Really just and they stink. <laughs> <laughs> We've been banging on about these we both a lot. These. The the unparalleled vims. Yes, we do get sent these, but they are my favourite shoes. I I'm still I'm gonna, probably going to buy a pair when these ones wear out. They're soft, can toe hook in them. Even for uh, the old slip on, they don't slip off when I'm doing the heel hookage. They're cool. I've actually got a pair of Oricales here. <laughs> They're actually called oracles. Oracle. <laughs> they're called oracles. Slightly less versatile for in indoor climbing, but they got a super nice solid toe and quite a nice heel for outdoor climbing. But I wear them less indoors, but I don't know. They're still in my bag all the time. What we've realised in doing this is that for the most part, Tom just brings me along because I'm the one with the stuff. Yeah. So Tom did have a chalk bag, lost his <laughs> chalk bag, but it made no difference to the amount that Tom uses my chalk bag. So yeah, a bouldering bucket. Generic, the old moon variety. Had it for a while. It's upgrade. probably time for an upgrade at some point. Maybe a Bobat branded upgrade? Ooh, Who knows? Perhaps What's, uh, the space? What's in your chalk bag? <laughs> Whatever chalk Tom puts in it. Because I always feel guilty for using all those chalk, so actually I normally put chalk in there. A variety, if I can afford it, the old Friction Labs unicorn dust. If I can't afford it, it's whatever Tom's pulling out. Right now we've it's got a bit chalk. chalk. We were using some EB chalk a little yeah, while back. Yeah, that was bit good. Of Totally yeah, it, yeah it's, it's just a mad mix of whatever I can get my hands on. These are my brushes. I've always Jump got. Brushes. I'm, I'm kind of known for having a lot of boulder brushes in my boulder bucket. Mm -hmm. You want to put that there? Um, Where else has this been? <laughs> this is my current favourite. Big boy. Seen a lot. Big boy. Davy boy. Silly goat. Yeah. That, that always, one found on the floor of magic. This one's on the floor of magic. This one's great for those big slopers. You know, when you really want to take those that big time. Sloops. Great. I would argue that I know which brush I'm going to use for a different type of hold, you know? Big ones, slightly smaller ones, little crimpy edge, you know, and, and big slopes. And sometimes there's a little plastic one bopping around. It gets in them slots. Yeah, if you've got a really thin one, thin little slot, yeah, you're, yeah, you're missing your lapis yeah. brush. You yeah, need I that. need the lapis. He's gone. Someone stole it. Is your brush customised? Yes. This one. I don't know if you can, you can even see it on the camera. But on that it says Engage the Rage. And on the other side it says Jolene. It's a custom, customised brush bought for me for my birthday by Sienna. Life of the rich and famous Banger. right there. I feel like I'm going to do an item now, Joe. Yeah? Yeah. I, I've got something. Prana Mojo shorts. I've had this pair since, I would like to say 2012. Maybe 2011? That's like as long as I've been climbing. Yeah. But the thing I like most about this pair that I've had for ages is actually back then they made them out of a slightly lighter, smoother material. They're much less kind of sweaty than the new variety of Mojo's. Sure, it's not just your general filth that seeped into No, no, no. They did change it. Look, look. I've got Mojo shorts look, as well. Joe's Mojo shorts, inferior. Look, feel the difference. This is much thicker. Maybe I've just worn mine out. I think you've just worn yours out. They feel exactly the same to me. I don't think a single Bobat member doesn't own Mojo no. shorts. I don't think a single climber yeah. doesn't own Mojo shorts. Yeah, you know. You they're, know, I think the, the ultimate climbing short. The key is that is that elastic yeah. around yeah. the waist, man. They're just light, simple. Chuck them on. Perfect pair of climbing shorts. Mega. So this is my camera bag. Uh, it is a what the hell is it? It's a, a it's a low pro pro tactic. 450 AW. He read that off the label right I now. did, I read it off <laughs> so the label So you know it's here. true. You know it's true. Yeah, lying. Got my laptop compartment, got my SD cards, got my laptop in there. At the moment, it's got a customizable interior that is just full of... It was actually going mouldy a little while back. No. <laughs> On a climbing trip, Tom literally has got 
so much shit in there, like his, all his camera stuff, right? And then there's just this tiny compartment filled with like one pair of pants <laughs> and some socks. And you just know that for the four days of the trip, that the clothes that are on his back is all he's going to be wearing. Yeah, that's and all you if need. you're lucky, he'll change pants. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Yeah, because I can fit drone, gimbal, GH5, two lenses, microphone. I've got my gorilla pod on the front. That's everything I need. And then I just stuff my pants around that. <laughs> Perfect. I've got a bag too. This is a, a Millican backpack. That's I feel great. like we're repping these. We're not definitely. By the way, we're not. Sponsored. Yeah, we're not sponsored. By it. <laughs> I, I think we get we get given. We get given climbing, climbing shoes. shoes. Yeah. That's where we draw the line. So just to clarify, this is not a sponsored video. I just freaking love this bag. Made with recycled sails. Oh, hello. Eco. Looks Had it for used. ages. It's knackered, but I love it. Repping the Bobat merch. Casual. Always casual Bobat merch. <laughs> this is not pre-planned. This isn't trying to get you to buy that merch. We don't need to encourage you to buy that but merch. But seriously, go buy that merch. seriously, go buy that merch. <laughs> We're re-releasing I mean, this t-shirt. The thing is, that I know that loads of you have emailed saying, like, where are your t-shirts at? I want to buy a t-shirt and there's not any there to buy, but they're coming. They're coming. We've got a lot in the works. It's just taking a lot longer than we um, had anticipated. Yeah. But yeah, Bobat tea. Got to have one of them. Bomb bag. This mm. is essential. Mm. This, this is why I bring Joe. This comes with me everywhere, every day. What's in your bum bag? What's in the bum bag? Oh my God, what isn't in the bum bag? Right, I've got skincare products for days. Elizabeth Arden, eight hour repair cream. If you want skin repair like no other, drop 30 bob on that, 30 jib. Get that, <laughs> that's great. Classic. I've got the Rhino, Rhino Performance skincare. Gives you slightly drier skin, put it on the day before a sesh, great. Rhino Repair, put it on after the sesh, again, great. Climb on. This one's really cool actually, Be Kind and Climb Bar. This is made by a chap called Matt in London and uh, it's all super eco-friendly loveliness, that's great. This is Mikey's Tip Juice, I think they've renamed it because of the name, but it's like super strong antiperspirant for your hands to be used carefully. It helps give you thick, dry skin, but it can also cause splits. Use it wisely, kids. Rhino Spit, that's to help get your hands a bit and then stop you from dry firing. Mini Swiss Army Knife. This thing, you know, look. Nails. Little scissors. Keep them nails trim, bro. Yeah. You know, and this. Little knife on the other side. Look. Be a brie sandwich. Sorted. You know, we got everything in there. There's a nail file on this as well, you know, just for if you wanna be going out on the town. Wanna look luxe. Inhaler. Live in that asthma knife. Wait, you got this as well. This is. Oh, key. yeah. This is the CBD roll on to keep me calm. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> Fancy deodorant, that's right, it's pink, it's for ladies. That's not great. It just keeps coming. That's about 30 things. <laughs> Muscle rub. <laughs> Are we done yet? Yeah, that's it, one bag. And chili for lunch. It's got roids in it. But wait till, it hasn't got any roids in it, no. But, but wait till you see his lunchbox, it's gonna blow your mind. Look at that. Fancy. Whoa. Whoa. Eco. Vintage. Yeah, vintage looking. Um, last thing on the list. I, don't, I couldn't live without this. I've been missing it since you took it back. Yeah, I've taken it back. So I'm not sure I but can. But this is a Recover Pro massage gun. I, I did reach out to them on Instagram and ask them to um, hook me up, but only because I got to use one and it was amazing. It's like a really overkill way of like rolling out effect. I personally use it post session and I use it on my chest, on my kind of trigger points in my forearms, a little bit on my shoulders, on my back. Get all, get all new duck. No, I don't. Um, wait, can you hear that? Wait. My little film camera. I've recently been trying to take some more pictures. Found it in a little thrift store the other day. The other day. But Joe actually has a box of like little <laughs> old plastic cams. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit gutted because I didn't bring any of my film cameras. Tom's got I shelves have, of the things. I have a, a bunch that I can't live without. Right, is that us done? I think. I think we've done everything. everything. I think we've we've ticked off. That's that's me and Tom's, mine and Tom's things that we can't live without, or that are always in our bag. Yeah, We're yeah. always kind of packing them, you know. Yeah. Um, I think my main thing I can't live without is you, Joe. I yeah. I, th I I would agree with that sentiment. I can't live without the other one. No, he doesn't. He hates me. If you like this more YouTubery content, drop us a comment. Um, if you thought this was random as hell then you have to part with more and more because Omar's going to do one, so there you go. We'll catch you next week for some more climbing shenanigans. Chuck in the comments the one thing you can't live without and maybe we'll sling you a free t-shirt. All right. If you want to know anything about the stuffs, 
obviously hit us up, we'll let you know. But as always, do the old like, do the old comment, do the subscribe. What should they do with the bell, Tom? They should ding that bell, get those ding. notifications. Ding that bell. We'll catch you lots of people very soon. Bye!